Today's the first day of industrial action. The dispute is purely regards pay. We've been offered a well below inflation pay rise when the company is out predicted to announce bumper profits of about £700 million. Pounds. They've offered us uh, 8% with a couple of tie-ons, but the percentage is what we had a mandate from the membership for was purely a percentage increase. So then that's long term, year on year. So all we're asking for during this cost of living crisis is just RPI basically, just to pay a rise of RPI, that's, which is not too much to ask, we don't think. Negotiations have broken down. We've never removed ourselves from the table. Unfortunately, the employer has. We've put additional suggestions in place to be cost effective suggestions for the employer. As late as last Friday, the employer responded they would get back to us and we've heard nothing since. What you can see today, is not only uh, colleagues that are directly involved in the dispute and the ballot itself, but we've got an overwhelming response of support from contractor colleagues. Now these guys are on just above minimum wage and they've come out in support of us. That's fantastic. Drax operates 7% of uh, generation in the UK. We're in a position today where 50% generation is actually just being produced. Today, the employer has lost 800,000 pounds and that would have resolved any issue. We're scaffolders, thermal insulators, rope access and industrial cleaners. Members of Unite and GMB. We had a site meeting to discuss our own ballot and we've made a decision to come out and support. That's an official picket line and our lads will not cross an official picket. Man, you they wouldn't cross a demonstration either so it wouldn't make no odds to us. I would just like to thank you all, our contractors, fraternity, for actually supporting this site. We do really, really appreciate it. So I'd just like to say thank you very much for bottom of me out. Thank you very much. Thank you. They didn't think anyone from the contract partnership were going to come out in support of us. But the show of strength and solidarity here has sent a clear message back and I can't thank you enough, gents. Thank you very much. This is about them trying to split a workforce, right? They're trying to say us and them. They're saying they've been offered 8%, right? We've been offered 5% over three years. Look at the scaffolding fraternity here. How many lads have had to pay for their own courses? Or if they haven't had the courses paid for, then use your two weeks holiday. They've created the skills gap. That's what they want to do. They want to de-skill us so they think that the value of our skills is not worth a red cent. Just thank everybody for coming, that's the main thing, the support has been amazing. We're really glad to see everybody here and me and, me and Richie will be fighting this tooth and nail from this point forward for every man, woman on this site. We've got in a position where your reps and individuals have been threatened with disciplinary and potential dismissal. Now we need to stand behind these reps both legally and fundamentally from all angles and I want to send that clear message we will. So today we've had our legal team write to your employers to give them that stance that we won't accept anyone being dismissed regardless of position or status uh, for carrying out support of this action today. Some of you Altrad guys were offered additional payments and bonuses and apparently that's all been retracted. Well, I can confirm that we're going to go into dispute over that. We are going to settle the 154 for our brothers on Vapcox. We want the full amount now, the 237, because you lads deserve it. Time, effort and energy to keep that spot running for them. So we want rewarding. We want rewarding for what we give them. It's carcinogenic material, by the way, what we work with. The crushed coal is emphysemia. None of our lads retire. We all end up permanent sick. The biggest amount of suicides, young men, suicides in the construction section. The biggest divorces, 14 hours a day, seven days a week, and yet they treat us like this. We were telling them about this, about the health and safety situation a bit. They were in total denial for five years. And by the way, the biomass, they've been subsidized for that. We don't know, this could be as bad as asbestos.
but it's our construction workers that are going to suffer for it. We've got to give an interview to police now for having to walk that roundabout. Who so does? We have. <laughs> yeah. They want in a word with me and you. Well, so. let me tell you now, lads, it's not the first interview I've had with the police and it won't be the fucking last. <laughs> We've got uh, eight continuous Mondays, uh, and on the ninth Monday, it could be all light strike action. Uh, from day one, there will be a ban on overtime. Nearly £700 million in profit last year, and we're asking for 0.2% to resolve all issues. There's a claim that offers 10%, it's 8%, with an additional £2,000 bonus, which is actually for burning two units, making them available, which should be subsidised heavily by the government anyway and this is on the back of losing 230 uh, employees two years ago made redundant for running those units. They've converted them to biomass, therefore jobs went with that on, on the coal-fired side of it. But strangely enough, now the government are paying them to put them boilers back on. We expect to be, you know, strike ready by April. Then boilers are coming off in April. We've got 1,500 contractors coming here to repair and maintain them boilers. It's going to have a massive effect on them. We're not going to have it no longer. They've had the boot on our throat. We're going to have it on theirs. There's going to be a change here and we're going to make it change.